You're listening to MRP, the Metal Robot Podcast. According to your promo, your sound is, quote, brewed from the essence of Americana, Motorhead, and a punk rock attitude. Now, the yeah. first thing that I, no, I no, do you think that this... Pub, you know some publicists wrote that. We didn't, read, we didn't write that. You know? No, I, of course not. But I, 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 do like to, I do like to think that that describes the sound pretty well uh, oh, but no, the good. first yeah but, but like the first thing that i thought of when i read that was was my ex-girlfriend after three irish car bombs and also right before eating a pint of haagen which i yeah. think also describes the music fairly well as well but was that um the sound that it describes was that just a natural sound that came to you guys when you're writing music or is that something that you have pre-planned well it, well, it was pretty targeted. Like whenever I, we, I started out, you know, I came from punk bands. Um, all of us did, you know, in, in one way, shape or form. And, and, uh, and ended up working. And then I played in like some LA rock bands and, you know, I, I, the first producer that I like work with that, that was like, you know, you need to, that kind of actually got to know me a little bit, you know, said was like, nah, man, he's like, you need to tell stories about where you're from. Cause this shit's ridiculous that you tell me. And I was like, and so Ari was like, no, nah, we need to put this to music. So we kind of wanted to do like, if, if you take the essence of old school, like, you know, Molly hatchet and things like that, but then blend it with like some more punk metal, which would be, that's that's motorhead is the blueprint of like where you know punk people think it's cool metal people think it's cool they both argue over what it is you know it's it's lemmy so it's fucking awesome and lemmy doesn't give a shit what you call it you know and um and that that's kind of where we landed so it's always been building off of that uh you know kind, kind of blueprint you know so it's like you know we like guitar harmonies we like thin lizzy we like just just fucking pentatonic rock, you know, and it comes out, you know, in different ways, you know, pretty simple. We didn't reinvent the wheel, you know. <laughs> what, what he's not telling you is that usually when we get ready to write, we huff like a whole bottle of Dracar. Yeah, there it is. A whole there bottle it is. of Jackson's Malort. <laughs> yeah. That, that's the essence. We, we, we don't need hog and dust. Well, listen, yeah. uh, now Sean's all throwing his money around. We actually don't have Dracar. We have to go to the gas station Ooh. and put a quarter in and use like the generic quarter. <laughs> it's like, we go to the bank, we get like five bucks like in quarters and you just fucking boom. And you just get, the next right. like, get another one. And like, and if there's four of us in the band, we only got to bring a dollar each, a dollar 25. Yeah, right? The men's room so, at the Sunoco is highly recommended. Yeah. That's one. So God, I, I don't love, love this cool. band so much. Holy yeah, shit. It's, it's fucking good. But yeah, we hit that. And we're like, yeah. And Sean's like, I got a riff. And I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. I got the harmony of it, man. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. You just listened to 